So this video is a crazy story of luck vlog. Are you listening? So this video is a crazy story of luck vlog. My name is Timothy Schultz. Um, so this video is all about this crazy thing that happened in 2005. There were a record number of people who won the Powerball, scoring between $100,000 and $500,000. But what is really crazy notable about it is that there were so many people, 110 people, when there's usually four or five, but 110 people from all across the country. So uh, it's, it's just a bizarre... <laughs> streak of luck that happened all over the place that I'm going to talk about in this video. But before I get to that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Timothy Schultz. I actually also am a lottery winner in 1999. Way back in the day, I won the Powerball. It's one of the craziest, biggest, uh, most surreal things that's ever happened to me. And so what I did after that is I went back to college to study film and journalism and broadcast news. And I've interviewed quite a few people and worked with various productions over the years, but I'm now combining my experience with my desire to meet and interview other people that I find fascinating on this YouTube channel. And this includes other lottery winners and other people that have come into sudden wealth and sudden fame. It's one of the things I'm doing on this channel. So if you are new to it and you want to see some of these interviews along with these vlogs that I'm producing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when they come out. But this video is all about this crazy story of luck vlog, as I am calling it. But I just discovered this because I do a lot of research into lottery winners that I think are fascinating because I'm inviting people to come onto this show, onto this podcast to be interviewed. And I found this story um, from 2005, March of 2005, in fact. Officials were expecting there to be about four or five people that hit five out of the six numbers for Powerball. So if you hit five out of the six numbers, they would receive between $100,000 and $500,000. So the top prize was right around half of a million dollars, which is not too bad. That's pretty awesome, right? But uh, what's really notable about this is that they were expecting four or five people to win, but on this particular day in March of 2005, there were 110 people. <laughs> so it's like, it amounted to like $19 million or something like that that, that they had to pay out so if everyone that had won actually got all six numbers, five numbers plus the Powerball, so they would have had to split the prize between the 110 people and they would have received less actually. So that's pretty lucky as well. But it's really crazy. They thought at first that it might be a scam or something wrong with the system. Like nobody really knew what was happening, but it turned out that it actually was a fortune cookie, a factory in New York that makes these Fortune cookies, mass amounts of fortune cookies, chose these numbers and put it in there with a prophecy of good luck. And it was shipped out all across the country to various restaurants that have fortune cookies. And people apparently play fortune cookies. Some, some of you out there watching might even play fortune cookies. I don't know. Um, I've heard of people doing this, but I didn't realize quite so many did. And it's <laughs> quite remarkable that it paid off for every single person that played those fortune cookie numbers, it paid off big, between $100,000 and a half of a million dollars. I mean, that would be awesome. You know, if that's the way the cookie crumbles, I wanna get in on that action. But don't ever spend more money than you can afford to lose if you play the lottery. I say this all the time in my videos, but somebody somewhere is eventually going to win. It's gonna happen. I hate to be that guy, but somebody does win eventually. And if you play, you are placing yourself in a lightning field with a chance, with the odds however slim, however slim, you have a chance of hitting the big one if you play. But, you know, the odds are horrible, so just have fun with it. That's my advice. But this story with the fortune cookies was just crazy. It's, I mean, to have all these people, 110 people, it's record breaking. It turned out to be $19 million total that the lottery office had to pay out for people. But this is just one of many, many crazy lottery stories that I'm going to be talking about on this channel because yeah, of course I've had all of my own experiences which I'm sharing some of those on my channel. I'm also writing a book about how it's changed my life um, and you know I use the word luck in this vlog because winning the lottery can be a very lucky thing but it's not always 
it's not always lucky. It's not always necessarily a positive thing. I've seen it ruin people's lives. I've seen it take people down. So it can be a double-edged sword. I think it's positive for most people. Everyone I've interviewed on this channel so far anyway, most of their experiences have been positive. Not all of them, but most of them have. And for myself, um, you know, it's mostly been positive, but there have been some negative things. I've had some relationships ruined and some other things that I'm writing about in a book. I'll put a link to that below. But this video is not about my book. I'm not going to go too much into it in this particular video. But, you know, I just found this very interesting. And I thought that some of you out there might be also find this particularly fascinating. So I thought I'd make a vlog about the way that the cookie crumbled because it's just pretty awesome, I think. But there are many stories out there with lottery winners that are fascinating that I'm really excited to share on this channel. Another thing that I find very interesting are the people that have won twice because there are plenty of people that have won the lottery multiple times, believe it or not. I find that crazy as well. And there's one guy in particular that's really fascinating, a Croatian man that actually escaped death multiple times, including a deadly train wreck, a plane crash where he was sucked out of the plane onto a, landed on a haystack, and a bus crash, and all these things where he survived all these things where some other people did not, actually. And so that is some Final Destination stuff right there that is also, I mean, it's a captivating story, but also he ended up winning the lottery. He won almost a million dollars. So I find it particularly interesting how some people are winning multiple times and that sort of thing. I also find it very interesting how people, some people anyway, believe that they are given signs or have had experiences prior to winning that have led them to believe that something big was going to happen or that they were going to win or even there are people that believe they have won because of the law of attraction. I'm interested in all these things. And if you're new to my channel, you might not know it's because I had a vivid dream about winning before I won. And so I'm fascinated with the power of the mind and just, uh, and I'm not saying that I won because of the dream, but I find it very interesting. It's not the only dream I've had about things before they've happened. So I find the whole thing fascinating and I am interviewing other people on those topics as well. You know, not every lottery winner has had an experience like that, of course, but some of them have. Some people would argue it's coincidence, while others think there's something more to it. So it's just interesting. So, But the way that the lottery can change lives is huge. It can be enormous. And of course, it can vary depending on how much you win, where you live, who's around you, and so forth. But it's really interesting. And some of these stories are just over the top. And so I'm super excited to be exploring them on this channel and sharing them with you. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And for more vlogs and interviews on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when they come out. Let me know in the comments, do you play the lottery using fortune cookie numbers? Yes or no? Do you use fortune cookies to play the lottery? Or what do you use? Do you use birthday numbers? Do you just do the computer generated quick pick? Uh, if you play the lottery, what is your strategy? I love checking out your comments. And also, what would you do if you won five of six numbers and got between 100,000 and half of a million dollars, $500,000. What would you do with that amount of money? I love checking out your comments. Uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.